Hello everyone and thank you for clicking on this video. In this one I'll be sharing why I chose to be a computer science major and uh, I'll also leave a link in the description if you want to see my last video about me getting my head shaved and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and just like this video if you like it and with all that being said let's get into it. So my computer science journey actually started all the way back in the, around the 7th or 8th grade. I was using a website called Khan Academy, and for those of you that don't know, uh, Khan Academy was first big in mostly just math courses. I don't even know if it offered a lot of other subjects for the longest time. But anyways, I was using this for math in, or like late middle school. And I remember eventually hearing that there was this new free course just for computer science. And so, like, or at least I'm pretty sure it was new. Maybe I just didn't know about it. I'm not quite sure. But either way, I found out about the computer science courses being offered. And I started to hear about all that you could do with computer programming. And I think the first thing that really interested me was creating my own games. And so, when I heard that they offered these courses, I was like, oh, you know, might as well check it out, see if I can figure out how to do the things that I want to know how to do, like video game design or development. And so, like, I, I knew that this probably was a far-off goal to kind of get to just by taking these introductory classes, but I knew that this could be, like, the springboard to get me to where I wanted to go. So, I quickly began self-teaching myself JavaScript. For those of you don't, that don't know, this is used for things like adding interactivity to web pages, uh, making games, uh, creating apps, different things like that. And so I knew that it could be used for a lot of things and I had heard that it was a pretty easy language to start off with. So after beginning this course, I fell in love with programming. From that point, I just like loved everything about it. I really like just self-teaching myself things and this was like one thing that I knew I could do pretty easily because of how many different software things and websites that are available now to be able to teach yourself. So I actually Towards the beginning of high school, I fell away from the programming for a bit, and then I came back to it around, like, late sophomore, early junior year, and I was reminded of the course on Khan Academy that I hadn't finished for JavaScript, and so I ended up finishing the JavaScript course, and, like, after starting that again, I knew that I didn't want to fall away from it this time. So I began learning HTML in different languages, and uh, then senior year, I pretty much knew that I really wanted to pursue uh, computer science as my major. And so my high school is very small, so I knew that I wasn't going to be able to do anything that really interested me there. So I was looking into being duly enrolled in a community college that was local to me that I could take online so that I wouldn't have to drive to that campus either. And so they actually had a few tech classes that I ended up taking and the only one that I feel that was really beneficial to me now that I am like a full college student was intro to HTML and I love this class, like instantly I fell in love with this class, and HTML is the programming language that is primarily used for making web pages, and this is one thing that kind of interested me in programming in the first place, so I was pretty excited about this, and I really love this class. I was really enjoying the creativity that I was able to have with the web pages, just because we were also taught CSS, which is what allowed us to add a lot of the colors and like different visual aspects to our programs and our web pages. So that was a lot of fun. And I enjoy the challenge of programming, just being able to 
solve problems and learn new things as I go and this was like my first real class with it and I loved it. After taking this HTML class I knew that I was going to continue to pursue computer science after high school and try to get as much programming experience as possible just self-teaching myself and just through my degree and so also I did a lot of research too as I was taking that class and just kind of looked into the opportunities and there's like so many positives to computer science because like a lot of things are going more um, technology based like a lot of companies so a lot of people are looking for programmers and people that will work on their websites and apps and just like marketing for them online and so I was also interested in like business too because I want to eventually have my own business with computer science and that was one of the big draws because I saw that there's potential to have a startup of my own and I could do this all remotely or from wherever I'm at because a lot of the things that I'll be doing are going to be online or submitting things to the app store or different things like that. And so I, I personally really like to travel, as you probably know because of the name of my channel. So I saw this as a way to be able to work and travel at the same time and just... I really love programming too, so it's like I can work, but it's like almost like fun for me. So yeah, for anyone considering computer science as a major, I definitely recommend that you do your own research and maybe even start like self-teaching yourself just like one programming language. It doesn't really matter what it is, but I think just sticking with one language and maybe trying to do some fun projects with it before you declare your major because this can help you decide if you really do like it because I know for me I really liked it when I did it but like some people came into college and had no programming experience and then found out that they hated it or that it was way too hard for them or whatever and they fell away from it so I think it helps to have just like a little bit of experience like you don't have to be like a professional in any language or even really know that much to know whether you'll enjoy it or not. If you stuck around to the end of this video, I just want to thank you for your time and comment down below what you're thinking about pursuing as a, ma as a major or what your major is now or your career goals if you're already in a career that you enjoy and just subscribe and like this video so that I can continue to put out more videos and just see what you guys like. I'll do more videos like this if you like it. And this is what you call an infinite loop in computer science. Have a great day. Bye.